location in Fairbanks. Um, the last video we did, we were outside, stupid us, outside in the snow. What was the temperature? It's negative three. It was cold and snowing, and we were stupid. But anyway, so we're going to do one inside. Whew, it's hot in here. All right, let's go ahead and do this. This is Midnight Suns. Uh, hop dog. It's a double wheat IPA. Comes in at 8% uh, alcohol by volume and 100 IBUs. So it's going to be very hoppy, I would think. What do you think? I think so. I think so. All right, let's go ahead and pop this thing. Pop this thing and show you the cap. I know you can't see it. Yeah, it's a little All right, same little logo that's on here. So, anyway, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Pour this thing. Let's see if we can get some head on there. Get a little bit of head going. That's a little head action. Nice orange, uh, yeah, orange color. Yeah. Nice little light orange color. Kind of hazy. Can't see through it, right? Hazy. Unfiltered, I would assume. So, all right. And like I said, it says uh, Hop Dog is Midnight Sun Brewing Company. Comes from Anchorage, I believe. Yeah, Anchorage, Alaska. Yep. So, uh, Anchorage. You ever been to Anchorage? Not yet. We're in Fairbanks, by the way. I think I said that. But uh, yeah, Anchorage about what? About six hours. Six hours away. Something like that. Ooh, very orangey, as you would think, because of the the IBUs and all the hops in it. What kind of hops they use here? Let's see. Um, don't say there. Yep, don't say what kind of hops, but uh, anyway. Right. Yeah, very orangey. I would say there's maybe a slight sweet, maybe caramel or toffee smell. Maybe very, very slight there. But uh, yeah. Ready to down this sucker? Let's down this sucker and see what she got. Right. Oh, hey, whoa. I know. You're ready to go. I know. Let's launch it. Yep. Hoppy, but to me it's not as hoppy as the last one we did. You know, we did a, uh, what was it, the Silver Gulch Snow Hook IPA, which was only 55 IBU, I believe. Yeah. This is 100, and I don't taste the hops. I don't taste, I mean, it's it's bitter. You get the bitterness and the, and the citrus taste. But I would say the other one's a little hoppier. And this is, must be masked a little bit better with, uh, probably, with something. I mean, didn't much taste but the orange. I mean, you get the orange peel taste, the, the grapefruit grapefruit peel taste. The last one, I think I was too busy to like, trying to stay warm and not shiver. Yeah, we were pretty, really. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty freezing out there. The wind was going pretty bad. Yep. This is pretty good, though. Of course, this has some wheat. It says it's a double wheat. I don't know if I get the wheat taste of it. Like a wheat beer, which is usually a real light, <clears throat> a light beer, but I'm not sure if I get the wheat of it. It says designed to take the edge off of the dog days of summer. Uh, this is a summer beer, hence the wheat. I think wheat beers are usually summer beers. Um, but I wanted to taste it mainly because of all the IBUs, you know. Um, uh, midnight Sun. Midnight Sun, too. Yeah. Yep, Midnight Sun. Midnight. Yep. Yep. I was hoping, uh, hoping we get some, uh, um, we got the Northern Lights, but we ain't got them yet. But we'll get them. That's what Probably. I'm doing. Midnight Sun, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, what's that? Drink, right? You got a drink. There's two drinks. It's a drinking game. See, we burp, we drink. Uh, hot dog, double wheat IPA offers full-on hop impact and refreshing wheat character. You know, I mean, maybe that's the little fruity type of taste I get. Okay, see, and another thing, part of that drinking game is, you know, we burp, you drink. Somebody farts, you drink twice. He just farted, you drink twice. Didn't you? Ah, oh, he leaned over. I thought he farted. So, okay. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have. Do it. Do it. Push it up. Push it up. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It says, and while you may feel the chasing tail and howling at the moon, keep your calm and stay on the porch. Stay in the shade. Dog, it's hot, hot. And okay. Whatever. I don't get that. It's not hot now. So it's hot in here. Not here. It's right into the minus ten. Yeah. Where it was. Or minus three. So anyway, that's not bad. No? I mean, it's a good IPA. I, I, I'd rate it somewhere up there. I mean, I like IPAs. IPAs is my kind of drink. I like wheat beers too, but I don't get the wheat out of it. I really don't get the wheat. 
there's a slight little, I want to say fruity, but that's not a wheat taste. So. Anyway, what's that? It's good. I like it. I rated, I rated about a 79, 80, somewhere around there. Yeah, I was thinking about the same. I mean, it's not the best IPA I've had, but it's, it's pretty good. And maybe because of that wheat-ish taste to it. Um, but anyway, yeah. I, I, me too. I, I'm going 80 with it. So, I, so uh, I think we said it earlier, but I'll say it again. Slanja. Slanja. And uh, peace.